HIV. How long does it take to know if you've got HIV? How is it even transmitted? Shit, I literally just think that I've been infected with HIV. What do I do? Let's start with the most urgent question first. PEP. PEP is something that people really, really don't know about and they really should. PEP stands for post-exposure prophylaxis. It's a cocktail of potent antiretroviral drugs and it's thought that if you take these after a potential HIV infection that it significantly reduces the chances of you actually being infected by the virus. Which is amazing and which is why everyone should know about it. Sex education ramp to the side. PEP works best after 24 hours after the potential infection and doctors stop administering it after about 72 hours after infection. But in some cases, if you take it quickly enough, it has an 80% chance of reducing the infection of HIV. So if shit happens, if you've had unprotected anal sex, if the condom has split, if you've just given oral sex and you have loads and loads of mouth sores or you notice blood in your mouth whilst you were giving oral sex and you think there's a significant chance that the person you're having sex with has HIV, then get yourself to the sexual health clinic as soon as you can. If the sexual health clinic is closed, go to the emergency room, I'm not joking, you need medication. If you're not sure, you can definitely talk to doctors, you can talk to sexual health clinic people, and they will assess the risk factors for you. Now, this is not some morning after pill, this is not, oh, I'll take a couple of pills and I'll feel a bit queasy and maybe have a bit of diarrhea. In one in four cases, we are talking serious diarrhea, serious vomiting, headaches, migraines, so don't take this lightly. However, for two thirds of people, the side effects were only mild to moderate. Now, most of the side effects are done by two or three days, except you have to bear in mind that the whole course of the medicine lasts 28 days. After a potential infection, how long do you think doctors recommend that you wait to have a HIV test? Three weeks, one week, a month? It's actually six weeks. The window period for HIV can be anything from two weeks to six weeks. Okay, so potential infection, you waited six weeks, you're negative. How long do you think they'll recommend that you wait until there's a much more significant chance that you know that you're definitely negative? I don't know, do you come back a week later, two weeks later, is it a couple days later? Oh no, you have to wait another six weeks, so three months after the initial infection, to have a much more accurate result of a HIV test. Now, obviously, this is not going to be the case for most people, but basically what I want to do is dispel this idea that you can be like, oh, I'll pop down to the local clinic after a few days and then, oh great, so I'm HIV negative, on to the next guy. No, you can't think like that. Nonetheless, most people who are infected with HIV do go through a kind of flu-y illness within the first few weeks with symptoms including things like fever, sore throat, body rash, muscle or joint pains. I think most people, when they're thinking about transmission of HIV, they're like, oh, anal sex? Can you transmit HIV by oral sex? I'm sure it's just a gay guy thing, right? HIV can be transmitted via anal, oral, or vaginal sex. Out of all of the sexual activities, the highest risk sexual activity is being on the receiving end of unprotected anal sex. It's not impossible to receive HIV from oral sex, the chances are significantly increased if you have any sores on your mouth, ulcers, uh, things like if you don't have very good dental hygiene and your gums bleed a lot after you brush your teeth. So if that happens for you, don't brush your teeth before you give oral sex to someone. For guys, you can use a condom. For girls, you can use a dental dam. If you don't have any ulcers in your mouth and you have good dental hygiene, then the risk of HIV transmission is very, very low. Some people think it's near to nothing. Some people think it's as high as 3%. You still have to ask yourself though, is that a risk that you want to take? I'm Equal Elliot. I hope you can take something away from this. Please check out my other videos on LGBT plus and sex related issues.